everybody, my name is Deliza, and welcome to my talk show, Crazy Talk. Today we are going to talk about a sad topic. That sad topic is tombstones. We will be talking about the history of tombstones, the type of stones used, and the purpose of tombstones. Now, on to our chef. Tombstone, headstone or gravestone, is a marker usually made from stone placed around a grave to mark where a person is and who they are. Tombstones are one of the oldest forms of funerary art. They started off as a solid stone lid to coffins, or the coffin itself. Gravestones was considered the slab that was laid over the grave. Now the worlds are interchangeable. In the 18th century, footstones were very popular. They used to mark the foot end of a grave. They usually just contain the initials and the year of death. Footstones are not used anymore. This is mainly because they made it difficult to keep up ground maintenance like mowing the grass. Commonly used between 1650 and 1900, the earliest, earliest stone used in American gravestones between 1660 and 1800, Boston, Massachusetts, was the hot spot for gravestone carving activity. Many still survive and most are a grey colour. Slate stones tend to be thinner than marble but not affected by acid rain. The inscriptions tend to be shallow but still readable today. Most common between 1650 and 1890, made of a sedimentary rock, compressed sand. Most commonly used in the Connecticut River Valley, brown stone is a type of sandstone which colors range from dark blonde to different shades of brown. The only problem with brown stone is it can deteriorate quickly, turning back into the sand it was formed from. Most commonly used between 1780 and 1930 is made of sedimentary rock or compressed shells. It is desired for antique rock and when it is pure white. When first used, the marble was white with a satin finish, while limestone was darker and more grey, once affected by the weather. They can become hard to read. They also tend to darken in colour. Most commonly used, 1860 to the present day, made of indigenous rock, the most durable of all natural rocks. Granite is one of the strongest and most long-lasting materials that exist in nature. This quality gave granite the nickname Rock of Ages. The most common color is gray. Different regions can produce granite of different colors. Today, granite is used in multiple ways like cemeteries and buildings. It is a very popular choice because of its strength. Tombstones are used to mark the graves and as memorials to the dead. Many people go and visit their loved ones' graves to mourn and remember those who are gone. Relatives are often added to the tombstones over the years they do this so one marker can chronicle the passing of and an entire family spread over decades. Tombstones are also used as a sign of wealth. This is because they can be very expensive to make. The grander the tombstone and or memorial shows that you have more money. For families that do not have as much money, they can use a place called crematoria. Crematorias are a cheaper type of memorial. They offer the same meaning and purpose of a tombstone. 
The Victorias have carved or cast plaques. The information on the plaque is the same as what is on a normal tombstone. Over the years, people have become more creative with their tombstones. They are a form of a statement, last words, or something you love dearly. They basically say who you really are or in life. Following are some pictures of different tombstones we were able to find to show our creative and or thoughtful they have gotten with them. Tombstones are also a memorial for your family and friends, a place for them to visit to feel closer to you that you may not be completely gone. I think all the creativity in tombstones allows for this to happen. Thank you. 